Hey, do you got a WordPress website? And are you backing that website up? Probably not, right? Well, you probably got a WordPress website, but you're probably not backing it up. That's probably why you're watching this video. Does any of that make sense? Hey, my name's Lamar Show. I'm coming at you from having success online.com. Can't forget the dot com. Listen, this is why I got this video. I'm going to show you how to back up a WordPress website. Now, one of the plugins, I'm not going to show you in this video, I've done other videos in the past. There is a plugin that you can use. It's called Updraft. But, but, I've got a much easier way. So if you do have your WordPress website hosted at SiteGround, these guys do all that work for you. This is the cool thing, right? And so I, you don't need a plug-in. There's nothing extra that you have to add in for this. And it's done every single day automatically. You don't have to set it up. You don't even have to do anything once your website is there. Like I just recently moved my existing website from a host over to SiteGround. So if you want the link, it's down below. And other than just these automatic backups, things have really sped up on my pages. <laughs> and that's really why I moved. Then I found this thing like, oh, they use SiteGround. Because like I said, I used to use a plugin which wasn't bad. It was called Updraft. And that worked really, really well. But once I noticed they had this, I just it was just one less plugin. I had to, you know, maintain on my website. And the fewer plugins you have, obviously the better as well. But why do you want to back up a website? I didn't really explain this. Did I at the beginning of the video? I don't think so. I'm kind of excited. I'm a little, I'm just on the jazz right now. I've been days going great. I just came in real quick. I wanted to shoot this video. Don't worry. I'm going to show you how to do all this in SiteGround. It's, it's simple. It's simple. It's very simple. And what I did, I forgot where I was going with this now. <laughs> but I wanted to show, you know, like, so I, I want to show you how easy this is with SiteGround. Let me just get into I I don't know. I, I lost my train of thought. All right. So let's go over here. We're on my computer right now. Hopefully it starts going better than this. Don't leave. Just don't leave. Stick around. I'm on SiteGround. Look, so once you come into SiteGround here, you want to come over to websites, okay? And then we're going to just take this one here. I got three. And what you want to do is click on Site Tools. And then come all the way over here on the left navigation menu. And we need, I believe, look under, click on WordPress. And it's not there. Okay. I think it's under, <laughs> it might be security. Oh, yeah. Okay. So the, let's correct that. So go under security. Go to backups. Now, check this out. I, I can't raise it up any higher on the screen. Let me see if I can make it bigger and put, that's how far they can pull it up. Okay, now here's the thing. I just moved the site over a few days ago, hence my reason. You know, you can see how I had a little trouble finding it, but I did find it. So I, we found it. We found it. Now, I, I started at the end of January. I moved the site over and you can see all these backups were done for me every single day automatically i didn't have to set this up this does not cost anything extra it's all part of the pricing plan well i'm going to go over those here in a minute for you but that's it now here's the cool part right say you know hopefully you're not like me sometimes i get in there and i, I you know sometimes i just do too much for my own good and then i kind of really mess things up you know now what i'm able to do right I can come in here for this website and I can take my last backup, which was right here on the 5th yesterday. And I come over to the three dots and I have the choice of either you want to restore it now, right? I can restore the um, files and database, just the files, just the database or restore emails. But that's a whole nother thing. All right. Now, here's what I always suggest. I would always restore the database and files because these have to be in sync. I wouldn't take any chances by just doing files or just doing database because you probably don't know where the files or database, which one. 
I don't know. So see, you don't have to go through and think about that, right? So just pick the top one. So you can just grab, so this would be the latest, right? I can even go back a couple days to any of these and do that same thing. So whenever you do really muck up your database, right? That's one thing. Or if your database has been hacked, so now you can come back and come in here. What I would do is restore, right? Just like I showed you by clicking the three dots, restore the database and files, then go into WordPress and change the password, okay? And there's other plugins that you can add to guard against that as well. I've done other videos on that. So you, you can, and they're free. There's some of them, most of them are, a lot of them I saw were free that you can use. WordFence is one of them that you can use. Um, but this is a great way to back up your website. So if you want to get SiteGround and, oh, we didn't go through the pricing plan. Do you want to see that? Well, if you don't want to see it, you can bell on the video. But I'm, I'm going to go back to my screen here and let's see if I can pull up some pricing plans for you. We'll go through those really quick. I don't know if the the um, the basic, the, the first plan has um, a pricing plan to it, but let's go in here. We're gonna go into SiteGround, see if I can get us right there, probably not. Cloud hosting, web hosting, let's see. Oh yeah, here we go. All right, so here's SiteGround's three plans right here. So it starts at $7 a month. Now, what, okay, yeah, so the cheap one plan, the does daily backup daily backup daily backup okay so this is pretty dang cool oh by the way so you can do those daily backups i didn't explain this i guess but on those backups they stay around for 30 days they only hold a month's worth of backups which is more than fine right because there's no way you're going to know oh 10 days ago i want that backup or 11 days ago right usually it's the latest backup that you want possibly and so what they do after 30 days right then they just start it's just like a queue when the new backup comes in they delete one when the next backup comes in the next day they delete one so after 30 days you're only going to see 30 backups in that you know what that screen i showed you the other thing you can do that i do a lot of times Let's say if I'm gonna make a big change on my website, uh, you can do a manual backup and you get up to, they'll hold up the five of those manual backups in addition to the 30, I was just telling you about that happen automatically. So that's pretty cool, right? So a lot of times, like I said, you know, you, you're you kind of nervous, you're try, gonna put this plug in, in, you gotta make all these changes, right? At least before I do all that, I go and run a manual backup. I give it a name that I recognize. They give you a little area where you can type in the name and say, boom, go. It only takes like a minute or two. It's not that bad. And it depends how big your site is, but it's fast. Then you go and do your stuff, right? But a better way in that particular case is using their staging area. And I'm gonna talk about that in another video. So let's get back over to these pricing plans if you want to see them. I think you keep asking, sorry, just, it's just been one of those days. So in startup, so all these plans, since we talked about the backup, do have the backup. Cool, right? Now, the, the startup plan, you can if only use host one website. That's it. So if you have more than one, you have to either go grow big or go geek. Okay? Now, the other... Th thing you need to look for is like the traffic the visitors you can get to the site the startup plan is ten thousand ten thousand dollars yeah ten thousand a month all right the next plan up grow big is twenty five thousand and then the go geek the plan that's why i love this plan is a hundred thousand visitors per month right so what i do if you're just getting started just go with the startup plan but me, I moved, you know, so I had three websites. So either the choice for me was Grow Big or Go Geek. Now there's not much of a difference between these two plans other than the monthly visitors. And that's what like right here, okay? That's what caught my eye in the first place. So that's why I went Go Geek because I wanted the 100,000, right? And they got a few more ditties down here. Um, you can white label clients. I'm not doing that kind of thing, right? Um, the staging, we're going to talk about that in another video. That's not on the um, 
startup plan. It's only offered on these two plans here. So the staging, like I said, I'm gonna do a whole nother video on that. So if you wanna find out, just gonna to have to go to my YouTube channel and do some searching around for it. But that should be coming up after this video. But like I said, there's not much difference here. So even if you're kind of deciding between Grow Big and Go Geek, just go grow big, you know, try it at first. And if you start the like site ground, it's real easy to upgrade. You don't have to even touch your website or anything. And trust me, they'll be glad to have you upgrade, right? They'll be, they'll go out of their way. They've done help. And by the way, since I, my, uh, maybe about a week that I've been using site ground, I've called chat twice and I've been helped twice immediately. The, I don't know if I lucked out or not, but the chat support has been very, very good. All right, I'm out of here. I'll see you on the next one.